Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at this little device here, which I just received. Now, it looks like a GPS, but it's actually called a GNSS receiver. That stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. So what it is, it's actually a GPS receiver, but it could receive up to five different GPS systems. So the first one is the Galileo from Europe, and then there's GPS from the United States, there's GLONASS from Russia, and there's the BDS system from China, and the QZSS system from Japan. So all these systems are under an umbrella for the GNSS receiver, which this can receive, and other error correction systems. So it takes all that data from all those systems and gives you a more accurate reading. So I'm going to take this uh, device, I'm going to plug it into a breadboard and power it up and check out the operation. Okay, here's a schematic diagram on how I'm going to wire it up my breadboard. So all we need is a GNSS GPS module and an FTDI module and we jumper the FTDI module for 3.3 volts. So the VCC output of the FTDI module is going to power the GPS module. The TX output of the GPS is going to be fed into the RX input of the FTDI and the two grounds are going to be connected together. So we're going to have NEMA strings coming out of the TX port at 9600 baud into the RX port of the FTDI module and all we have to do is plug a cable from our USB connector here to our computer and run a serial terminal program and we can monitor the NEMA strings coming out of our GPS module. Okay I have my GPS receiver powered up and it's connected up to my FTDI module and you can see there's data about every one second that's my NEMA string and if you look closely there's LED underneath that's blinking that's one pulse per second LED blinking so we have activity now this uh, GPS receiver has an external antenna as opposed to the NEO 6 GPS which I made a video on you can see the size difference it had a, a antenna attached to the board this one's external, so you could actually mount this GPS in a metal enclosure and then have the antenna on the outside. So we're going to have a look at the NEMA strings that are coming out of the GPS receiver. Every one second you can see the LED blinking there. So we'll uh, hook it up to a, a serial terminal program and we'll have a look at the data that's coming out of the GPS receiver. Okay, I have a serial terminal program up and running on my computer. And this one is from Parallax. It's called the Parallax Serial Terminal. It's a free download from the Parallax website. I like this uh, serial terminal program. It's very simple. On the bottom, you can see we got the COM port. It's COM4. Baud rate is 9600 baud. And I have some buttons here. There's a clear button. I could clear the screen, or I could pause or disable the, the screen. So I could freeze it so we could have a look at some of the NEMA sentences. So normally, when I do a GPS project, I use two sentences the GPGGA and the GPRNC. But in this case, since it's a global navigation satellite system, they're labeled GNGGA, which you can see here. So here's a sentence that I would use now. It's a GNGGA because it's using all five of the systems to give us this data, which is more accurate. So there's our time, just like the GPGGA. And there's a latitude, and the direction is north, and longitude. So there's all our data. And we're looking at 11 satellites. It's using 11 satellites. And the GPRMC, it's called the GNRMC right now because we're using the those five systems. So there's the data there, and it's active, A for active. So there's our NEMA strings. So now we could use these uh, sentences for a more accurate reading. And every second the antenna is checked. You can see here it says antenna OK. So if I disconnect my antenna, it will say uh, antenna disconnected. So that's kind of handy. Every one second it checks the antenna. So that's how we could uh, extract now sentences from a global navigation satellite system uh, receiver for our project. Okay, so now you know how to extract NEMA strings from this little GNSS receiver. So there's no micro, there's no coding. All you need is an FTDI module. And it runs on 3.3 volts. It draws about 35 milliamps. And the output strings are NEMA 0183 protocol standard, except the talker ID changes from GP to GN. So a GP GGA sentence will now be GN GGA because it's using multiple systems. So when you're writing code, if you want to interface it up to a microcontroller, all you have to do is change the talker ID to GN. And I made a video where I interfaced a Neo 6 to a, a microcontroller using the SCAMP3 board. So the coding will be the same, except you just have to change the talker ID. So now you can consider using one of these little 
GNSS receivers in your projects.